All right, everyone, how's it going? My name is Renegade Operative. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm making a video based on the tier list for uh, ranking the characters in RE4 Remake, The Mercenaries. It's been a long time coming. I remember ranking and playing the original and having a ball, a blast with that, as well as RE5 and RE6. Now it's time for Resident Evil 4 Remake and we're gonna rank these badasses. S rank being the highest and the F tier being the absolute lowest garbage dumpster thing I ever seen in my entire life. And once again, this is my tier list. If you happen to disagree or have a difference of opinion, please let me know in the comment section below. But this is my list, my opinion, and everything I say is finalized in this video. I'm going to use terminologies. There is a new mode called Mayhem Mode where you can do abilities and attributes. Once you trigger it, there's like a, a sort of yellow orb that you'll see around the map in Mercenaries that you can pick up and that will add to your Mayhem Mode counter. And once you get this, you will do a special move. It is very similar to the special moves in Resident Evil Revelations 2. This time though, there's a bar, there's a meter, and there's music that will indicate what your special move is. Whether you use explosives to blow up an enemy or you have infinite ammo, it's a very swell trick that will help you stay in the fight for the mercenaries mode for Resident Evil. I will be using terms. Uh, these terms will include having a boss killer, which is a move or a weapon that will kill a boss with relative ease. We have setups, a melee move or a devastating weapon that will allow QTEs to happen relatively quickly. We will have crowd control, which is a weapon or attack or grenades that will hurt multiple enemies at once, which is very important in people's loadouts. We have the plaga killer, a move or weapon that will stop enemy transformation and we have time building. This is tech that will get you more time on the clock. First, we're gonna start off with Leon, Default Leon. Uh, default Leon is unlocked by the start. Uh, you basically have the lambskin jacket, you get his handgun, you get a laser sight on that, you get the riot gun, shotgun, you get the stingray sniper rifle, you get a combat knife, one first aid, and ammo for all guns. The Leon default is pretty all right. He has uh, some pretty decent health. Uh, from what I gather, his melees are the routine roundhouse kicks, uh, which is good coverage for crowd control. You can knock enemies down and flat on their ass if you decide to use this version of Leon. Now, personally, I, I find his loadout to be a little bit of a mixed bag because while you could do setups with the handgun and while you could do crowd control with the shotgun, I, I feel as though he lacks ideal grenades. Like it he could have benefited from a grenade or two in his starter inventory. So when things start to really get crazy, that shotgun is only gonna do so much work and it's not really strong enough to be a boss killer. He doesn't have boss killer melee. He doesn't have a magnum and he has basically his wits about him and what you find in the area with grenades as opposed to them being in his starting loadout. His mayhem mode is interesting for several reasons, but basically what they do is they give you a stronger buff of using your handgun or your grenades which is great for dropping them in case there's enemies about and there's chainsaw bella sisters that you want to destroy he doesn't get unlimited ammo however so hunk basically has something similar but he doesn't waste ammo on it when you have it it's unlimited ammo and a license to kill and i really like that about hunk uh, leon you have to be a little bit smarter a little bit more tactile he's not bad but he's also not the greatest mercenaries character even though he has like health above average has a kind of good mayhem mode for dropping grenades he lacks fundamentals elsewhere and i'm going to give him a c minus uh, for that next we're going to move on to leon pinstripe so I believe uh, this variant in particular also has a shotgun, Chicago sweeper, uh, the broken butterfly magnum, a combat knife, and one first aid along with bullets for each gun. Uh, the, may the mayhem mode is basically the same. Uh, his strengths and weaknesses. Now he has all of the same 
sort of melee and, and mayhem that the traditional Leon had. So I'm not going to really get into specifics on that one. I, I feel like you already kind of know what to expect with the roundhouse kicks and everything. He's slightly better because he has a boss killer with the Magnum. Therefore, if there is a chainsaw guy on your ass, you just pop that out, shoot him, bam, he's out, right? Because you can deal with him, stun him really quickly, and that's really great. I do feel though that even with the Chicago typewriter, which is very good for handling encounters in like mid-range, there's still the lack of fundamentals with long range now since they took away the sniper rifle with the pinstripe he is admittedly slightly better than base leon but i still wouldn't put him a cut above everyone else on this tier list i'm gonna give the leon pinstripe a c plus moving on to wesker the man the myth the legend albert wesker the great betrayer uh, Wesker has this 9mm handgun, which is, it should have been a Stars pistol. He, sh he has like five frag grenades. He has like three stun grenades. There's a lot of grenades here. Uh, he has 20 handgun bullets and he has a Killer 7 Magnum. Wesker's melee mode ability is the ability to perform devastating combo moves and powerful attacks when you activate it. He does like these weird wing chun uh, uh tai chi <laughs> strikes and he just keeps hitting the opponent until they're dust so i i find his melee or his mayhem mode ability to be one of the most interesting and funner ones of the game uh he is, his health is uh something that ranges from good uh I, I wouldn't say his health is bad at all uh wesker is quite a dominating force and he has like true melee attacks that will demolish enemies in one go if you couple that in with how his melee is, uh, he's not perfect by all stretches of the imagination because I felt like one of my problems with Wesker is that he ran out of ammo very, very quickly. You, you, because you have like less handgun bullets than you ideally would expect when starting out, he has only 20. It's quite interesting to get into these scuffles, but what he has is this crazy parry he doesn't have a knife either so that's kind of like a detriment and a buff at the same time it's very weird to describe this character you can do a parry and do a one-hit kill it's fucking awesome if it lands like you can you can totally like rock everyone's shit and you can knock down like two or three enemies no problem but uh with that comes the lack of a knife and if someone grabs wesker and chokes him he's going to take a tremendous amount of damage and you're going to be struggling to get out i think if someone grabs you like two or three times you're basically dead what he lacks in uh, defense options he has with extreme offense and, and it just makes up for some of the cons. His melee, his mayhem, and his one-hit parries make up for his shortcomings. I would give Wesker an S. I think he's one of the top tier characters. Extremely broken. It's one of the characters you gotta fucking play as in Mercenaries, I'm telling you right now. Next, we have Luis Sierra. His loadout consists of a nine millimeter or whatever the fuck that is. I'm sorry, I'm just zoning out here. It is late. Uh, he has a red nine. Keep forgetting the red nine. And he has the single bolt action sniper rifle, the one that I really hate, with the biosensor scope for some reason, which is what people kind of take off because it feels like it obscures their vision. Uh, he has a boot knife. He has one flash grenade and he has two health items to help him in the fight, as well as having ammo for all his guns. Luis Serra is an interesting case. I still wouldn't put him above. Uh, he is relatively new to mercenaries and I think people ask for Luis for a long time. Like this character has this badass red nine. Red nine, motherfucker, where is he? All right. He has a hefty mayhem mode and, and his health is decent. And his mayhem mode is the ability to plant some sort of dynamite in the ground and watch it explode and all the enemies will explode near him and you could be like engulfed in iframes it's pretty sweet this is very good for crowd control he's great at that he, he can he can set up he can kill bosses with it it's very ideal to those situations uh luis is definitely a madman if people are crowding you and you have full mayhem mode his weapons are not that great i'm not gonna lie just the basic red nine 
and uh, a single action and it just feels like it's lackluster like it, it doesn't have the synergy of something like someone with a handgun machine gun uh maybe a shotgun all in one where they can handle people from long range or short range it feels like luis struggles at short range to me I, I don't know why and it's melee is not that good it's even in the description where hitting people with pipes and hitting people with certain moves takes forever so what i like to up and do is i, I like to shoot people in the leg with Luis so he could do the kick and it's just relatively faster if I have to stab someone on the ground with the boot knife it's very much pertinent to just killing them super quickly because his melee is just ball slow when he takes out the pipe he takes out the pipe respect the pipe motherfucker and then he just completely smacks the person in the head uh so I I think that Luis has fundamentals to him but the characters also his run speed is just super slow like i don't i don't understand why they did that to him as well i guess to try to balance it out but i i, I feel like the cons definitely come into play and while he is fun in most cases there are a lot of maps where he's going to suffer namely docks i i, I think that luis on docks is probably going to be his worst map yet i would say he's on par with pinstripe leon i would give him a c plus next up next up baby let's go down the list here jack krauser and now for what i know krauser has the tmp he has a compound bow a fighting knife which he does differing animations with three flash grenades first aid submachine gun explosive arrows he has his mayhem mode ability where he has the bladed arms that will slice through people slice them in half it's, it's it's a bloody satisfying mess and krauser has this ability to do a thrust like a stinger almost into a crowd of enemies and kill them immediately in one shot krauser's health is maximum health which is the highest health in the game honestly jack krauser is is 100 deserving of s i think he's an s rank character in this game for the reason why he has literally everything to tackle a situation in the original he only had the crossbow and 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 i i know i criticized that i was like well man krauser has the crossbow so he tends to just have that singular shot until the arm comes in and then that's it now they upgraded his repertoire to where he has like explosive arrows to where he has like the the fighting knife now that's really good in this game he has like a tmp so that's really great for uh covering the distance of enemies that are either you know a little bit away from you or a little bit mid-range or whatever um and then you get the crossbow and then you just go to town with it you blow people up with it or you just lob a flash grenade to get rid of people that's like the crowd control right there and it stops the plaga from coming out and his, his melee moves are pretty great as well from what i gather browser is definitely like a real all-arounder he he has the boss killers with this mayhem mode he can slice them down easily with the thrust that he does and i i just think that having the largest health in the game and having a health item and it's just really beneficial to his loadout and what he does um definitely the man of malevolence you should not sleep on jack krauser uh he's really good i would say he is definitely s rank character now we have another spoiler another fucking s rank character that's hunk you already know what i'm gonna say you 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 already know what i'm gonna say hunk was not only good in the original resident evil 4 mercenaries but he's also very good here he has like i think his health is decent but he also has like the submachine gun which is great boot knife uh three handguns no not three handguns imagine that just pulling out three handguns out his ass and just saying blick, blick, blick. like all right so uh no he has like three hand grenades i'm sorry let me correct myself uh he has the first aid spray and he has a bunch of submachine gun bullets okay so he can handle enemies mid-range pretty easily um despite that I, I wish he had like a shotgun or something but i'm not really complaining because i think it's mayhem mode makes up for it 
because it shoots through anything it has unlimited ammo no reload increased movement speed my god he's buffed to shit with this like you can tear people apart with this mayhem mode and, and and just never run out and you just keep shooting and shooting and shooting until the boss is dead that's a definitive boss killer with this melee and mayhem too <laughs> i should say i should say it's both uh because i mean he could do neck breakers to the the bosses that are around like I, i've seen him do neck breakers to jj's so if you're worried about that not being in the remake this time well you could do that you could break the neck of sub bosses and they will never either spawn plagas or they will never like really stand a chance or you could just get away with killing them in one shot which is probably the most broken melee qte in the game by far that you could do uh hunk is nothing more than an s rank character it is not much to be said if you want easy s ranks with hunk he is the man for the job and now we have the last two which is ada i'm gonna try to go through this really quickly uh ada uh, i i Ada's weird, okay, because first and foremost, I think what hurts her the most is her melee is not that great with the fan kicks and everything. I, I mean, it's it's just rudimentary Leon style melee, which really doesn't prevent stuff like transformations of the Plaga or anything of that nature. It, it feels like it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Uh, she has the black tail, sawn off shotgun. She has a blast crossbow, tactical hand knife, one hand grenade uh one first aid and she has ammo for every gun that she has her loadout's cool though uh, i'm not gonna lie it's efficient it's something that will get the job done you could do practically a lot of stuff with it she doesn't have a sniper so long range is kind of out but dealing with enemies with handgun setups uh to do certain melee attacks even though they're not that great in my opinion her mayhem mode is increased attack and speed which is similar to leon's i guess you're going to be dropping grenades on the sub bosses because that's what you're going to be doing anyway or using blast arrows with mayhem mode to really increase the damage she's okay i, I i'm not i'm not gonna say i would put her on the level of maybe like hmm should we say b b maybe c because that loadout is arguably better than default leon's but her health sucks she has some of the lowest health in the game and her melees are not really set up to be either plaga stompers or doesn't really knock the boss into oblivion like most other people's melees like krauser or wesker um even hunks i would mm, i'm gonna say she's a c plus i think that's fair after describing how that character is i think that's reasonable uh describing how she is it really isn't any higher than a c plus it's it's borderline b but i feel like that health being absolutely meh kind of holds her back a little bit and she could die super easily because of that ada wong has a dress variant and this is the last person in mercenaries to cover uh it is her chinese dress and she has the same health so it's kind of bleh but she has the tmp the stingray sniper rifle a rocket launcher a tactical knife she has a normal hand grenade a heavy hand grenade a flash and first aid along with bullets this loadout is kind of what i wanted uh originally she has one boss killer weapon in her loadout which is the rocket launcher therefore if you're in a t like if you're basically in a tight situation and you're dealing with someone chasing you that's a boss or maybe it's like three chainsaw people on village you could bust that out no problem bam the whole situation is neutralized i kind of wish she had two rocket launchers though not gonna lie i feel like that would help it's kind of similar to i think safari chris in resident evil 5 where he had like two fucking rpgs up in this motherfucker they put people in the upper room that's what i want to do <laughs> uh shit seriously though 
so one boss killer to get you out of a jam that's it uh not really a boss killer where you got like multiple bullets or, or magnums or anything like that so uh but it is handy indeed as well as the knife multiple grenades are nice good for crowd control for each variant so you have like one of each the sniper rifle is not bad and it's basically the the full auto stingray stingray baby we got the stingray in the building uh tmp is also pretty decent i would say she's borderline b uh, i would prefer playing as this version overall it seems like she has like a couple of more options but still limited to some of the bad melee still limited to uh some of the issues with and i would say like i haven't talked about building time but you know um she wouldn't be ideal for building time with melee only i feel like wesker is good for that i feel like hunk is good for that but uh other characters like leon definitely luis luis struggles with building time with melees because his melees are so ass uh her melee is not as bad as his it's still something to take note of though uh still so i, I would say she's a b minus uh slightly ahead of the curve of the original ada but still a lot of fundamental problems to deal with uh even though like you have the ada that has the the sawed off shotgun in it you know what hmm now i think about it okay yeah but that that rpg is the difference maker though because while while the other ada has you know the blacktail handgun which is great and she has a shotgun which is great for crowd control she also has like the one hand grenade whereas the other ada has like multiple so that kind of helps if you're in more of a jam with crowd control so yeah I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to weigh dress versus default ada and i see the pros and cons now i'm, I'm starting to see that man I, I love this discussion so much i, I i'm starting to see that now mm, do i want to change it though or or are they on the same level i have no idea i'm i'm, I'm fritzing out man damn I'm, I'm still gonna give dress ada a b minus and i'm still gonna give the regular one it, it's close it's close or or should they both get b's am i gonna change my answer would i like to buy a vow whoa okay i don't know i don't know this is hard this is hard because i like both of them in particular when you weigh them together but I, I just think that rocket launcher really will help your ass and more grenades really helps your ass when you're crowded i, I feel like dress ada is really good on maps like village for sure she has her pros uh definitely on there and the other one's not not that bad either huh you know what i'm i'm, I'm gonna do it i'm gonna go with b minus for dress and i'm gonna go with a c plus borderline b maybe maybe move the other ada to a b she's close uh with the default outfit so I'll, I'll make it reasonable that way so there you have it people hopefully you guys really enjoyed my analysis assessment discussion and breakdown of the mercenaries characters in resident evil 4 remake tell me what you thought of this video i know i was kind of like indecisive on sections like thinking hmm should i really go back and change this should i really do that like what if i just tip the scale a little bit in my favor move the chair but uh, I, I really did uh, enjoy this video I, I thought this was a uh, interesting discussion and hopefully when we get to that re5 remake oh yeah when we get to that resident evil 5 life over there i can make another mercenaries video and i can talk about the characters and that and the co-op and everything and the tag team moves Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be fucking incredible. Unfortunately, we have to wait till like 2026 for that, but still, oh my goodness. I can't wait till that comes out. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you have fun with this video. Take care. And as always, laters.